Hey, hello, how's it going? Welcome to another video. It's Slice and Dice today. Now, listen, if you weren't a knower, if you didn't know, there's a play test currently happening happening right now for Dark and Darker. I've been trying to play and record content for that game. Servers have been uh, unstable, is putting it mild, mildly. They've been kind of a mess. So it's been unfortunate, but I've had trouble getting time to record and 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 play the game. I wanted to like do this next week or so of just making dark and darker videos, but didn't work out. So I snuck in to try to get one slice and dice recording. The nice thing about slice and dice, um, the the file sizes for recordings are small because the game is a lot more simpler. It's like pixel art and stuff like that. Something like uh, uh, twenty minutes till dawn, even though it's like also pixel art or whatever. There's like all these like explosion effects and the and things like that happening. It basically just makes the file sizes bigger. Um, so this game usually tends to be pretty simple. And uh, for that, it's really convenient. I can record an episode and then in an hour from now, it'll be finished uploading. Um, so yeah, pretty cool, pretty neat. Hopefully it's 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 good. And again, going back to the, uh, the like thing. Now I'm, I'm gonna stop asking for likes at the start of videos. I think I mentioned it in the last 20 minute video or maybe last license device. I don't know, time is weird. I forget when I did things, but um, <laughs> uh. We're, we're, give me a couple days. I want to let some of the, the, the data from that percolate. You got to let it finish, you know, processing, see if there was any actual effect. The TLDR right now is that it does seem that there is a bit of a correlation between people liking the video more and the video getting more impressions, which leads to more results and things like that. But we'll, again, we'll do a whole video breaking it down in a couple days. Um, probably after Dark and Darker is finished with his playtest, but we'll see. Anyway, sorry. That was a lot of ranting. Let's actually play games now. Um... Oh man, so I, the, here's the thing too. I've been playing this game and I've been playing uh, Wild Frost a little bit just in my free time. I think, what are we on right now? We're on a, we're currently on a four win streak, which is I think actually where we were last time as well. Um, unfortunately, uh, I, I don't know. Did I, I might've, I might've recorded run number six and I might've lost. I don't remember. I guess I didn't record it because I don't think I uploaded it. Maybe I did record it and I was just so embarrassed by the loss that I deleted it. And then repress the memory. Who knows? Let's play Game Sorry, we, we, We've been rambling way too long. We got to play the video game here. Now, I don't hate Ad Wisp, but Ad Wisp is, Wisp is definitely a little tricky. I think we can reroll and find a better curse on average. I like our starting team, though. Our starting team here is actually one I really like. Um, but I think we're going to just roll this. Uh, I hate all of these. I really hate Monster Right number two. And the reason for that is there's a lot of enemies that have a summon effect on Monster Right number two. It really causes some issues for us. Um, and minus one reroll is tragic with Scoundrel. Absolutely tragic. Um, we could try Barricade. I don't love Barricade, though, as well. Barricade's also a little bit of a tricky one. We could, we could like, we can finagle Barricade maybe to help us out a little bit. I'm down to give it a try here. Although I think maybe my, minus one rerolls is just kind of a a clean and easy uh, choice here. If we build our team right, it doesn't matter how many rerolls we have. They should all have good sides. It's like the theory. But let's go. Let's like, let's explore a bit. I haven't played Barricade too much. Let's see how it plays. We'll take the two damage side here. Take this as well. Love these. We can do better on Splint, hopefully. We did do better on Splint. Oh, got a target. Yep. You know what? Immediately forgot about it. So let's go here. Let's let's cut. And just boom. Yeah, boom. Easy peasy. This is going to be I immediately first first play forgot how it worked. So that's that's troubling. But hopefully we'll be OK here. And I think I think we take Sinew here. I think I think this is Cleve's time to shine. Maybe we can like bypass the enemies moving back thing here in a in a meaningful way. Maybe we won't. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, I do like these. I think I'll take these and roll these two. Okay, that's not great. Okay, well, I mean, we got the cleave side here, which is fine. I, I'm, I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to hit top here, and then we're going to cut. I don't know where we're going to cut exactly. Probably something like this. And then maybe we'll, we'll just cut Scoundrel. Scoundrel's got the health to spare. That's fine. Heal up here. Something like this. Oh, now that's kind of interesting. We can just kill the archer too, which is nice. 
That's cool. Mm, I guess we leave. We, In theory, Sinew has the most health here, so least likely to die. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. I like our team comp here. Our team comp, listen, Sinew, I think, can do great stuff for us here, maybe. Four damage is obviously a lot in the early game. Most enemies, you know, do succumb to that. But, um... In the mid game, things might get a little nasty. Caster Root here versus Bark Skin. I really don't respect Caster Root, but we do have Scoundrel. It's a lot of X sides. At least we get a little bit of value when Scoundrel misses. I don't know. Why not, right? Why not? We have the Cultist here, so we have a character who needs help on turn one as well. It's not the worst. Oh my god. I just noticed the fight. This is horrible. This is such a bad team for us. Um. I will accept this. I will accept this. Beyond that, I don't know what to do. So, I, I, oh man. What do we even do with mana? We use mana for shielding here, but it's not even that valuable. I should have, I should have kept the one HP. There it is. Okay, good. We make it out of here. I should have kept this. I'm glad we rolled it here because now we get to do this into this. Very cool. Juggler, herbalist. I think, we're, I think we have the the the, the vulnerable uh, herbalist combo here. Then we can take that. I mean, juggler into bramble is just tragic. Um, I can I can imagine I can imagine juggler with the barricade causing some annoyances for sure. So we'll see. We will see. I'm thinking about barricade now more. I'm thinking more about the late game implications here. I can see this being actually really a real big issue. If we also I'll take this here for herbalist, I can see it being a real big issue if we end up running into something like uh, what's it called? Good job by the way, Sinew. Very cool. Let's put this here too. Um, let's go. Let's go cut. Probably we can cut. Coltus has the regen here, but maybe we just cut Sinew. That's fine. Let's just kill you up here. Oh. Ah, I see the issue. Sequencing. <laughs> oh, hold on. I wanted I wanted this on Sydney. There we go. Okay. Um, I can see I can see hand being a really big issue here for us. Because hand is like the one character in this game who you oftentimes just bypass the ads. Um, more so than any other character, I would say. You just bypass the ads and and uh kill the boss. This will not be possible for us to do, basically. So I am concerned about that. We have lethal here, right? We have extremely lethal. Yeah, let's just let's just burst them. Square wheel. I mean, that's good on scoundrel here too, so I'm okay with that. We can go scoundrel wheel into into caster root. That's kind of neat. The cleave side is not that important. The vulnerable is kind of where it's at. Could put. I wouldn't hate putting it on sinew here either, but I think I like this. I think it's okay. Not amazing though. Wow, <laughs> I, I I forgot about this combo. I forgot I forgot about the combo. If you're a knower, shouldn't be a big deal, but kind of annoying. Okay, so we have double targeting on red. So this is not terrible here, but could be better as well. Take this, scoundrel. You're doing great work. Okay, so let's do these. Uh, excuse me, music. Hello? Why did you stop? I'm being hacked. I I think I mentioned it before, but I, sh I, I, I don't share. I, I bum Spotify off of my brother. He is kind of to let me use his Spotify account, and I think he has just taken over control of the Spotify, which is a horrible. Um, so let me instead go to YouTube and use the exact same playlist. One moment, please. Please hold. I could pause the video here to bring this up, but I refuse. So you're going to have to sit here with me for a second. How's it going, by the way? Hopefully you're doing well. I'm having a pretty good one, all things considered. Harris, Heller, Lo-Fi, Stream Beats. There we go. Um, hopefully you're having a good one. I'm having a good day. I'm having a pretty good day. 
Oh god, it's loud. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That should be right about where it's supposed to be. That looks pretty close to where it was before audio was. Okay. What the hell's happening in this game now? Sorry, I got distracted. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Send you all back to the Shadow Realm here. Hit you with a little cleave action, right? And then... We can cut to kill Top Goblin, which seems pretty good because it saves Cultist. I'm okay with that. And then we can double burst and just pass the turn to next turn. We should win from that position, I think, right? Oh, tech, hold on. Tech, technically, look at this play. Actually, actually doing math. Incredible work, me. Great, great job. Okay. Now, Dabbler versus Jester. Ah. Uh... I don't know, this scoundrel's kind of stinky, right? I, I do think that this is fine, but actually not that good now that I think about it more. But I don't love that. Um, Jester's kind of cool, though, with, with the flick. I don't hate that line. Mm, I think we keep I think we keep scoundrel. I think we're, I mean, listen, we're, we have herbalists. We're really looking for, uh, we're, li we're really looking for, for Trapper. Trapper, you know, it's an insane combo. Really, really good. Um, we'll see how it goes. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's do this. I don't hate this line. We can, we can, if we wanted to, uh, be psychotic, we can just get rid of dodge and put in a one heal here instead. I don't think it's a good line. But now that I think about it more, honestly, I think the square wheel is a bait. I think we just go back to this. Because now I forgot we had the the, the cleave the cleave ch combo here, which is not a huge deal if we ever trigger it. But, like, it's not bad. I think it's worth keeping it as an option. Man is coming in for six here, which I don't love seeing. I do like seeing this, though. That's pretty cool. Okay. How dead is Alloy here is the question. I don't know the answer. We should give you the shield just to be safe here. We'll take that. Oh, with Barricade, we really can't overkill that well here either. We can we can burst him back up. That's fine. Mm. Can we do this into this? And then we save Alloy here. I like that line currently. Hopefully we get like the, I was going to say the foot here, which I think is okay for us. Forgot you're exerted. That sucks. Double targeting on yellow here. So this seems pretty good for alloy. Definitely take vulnerable here. Absolutely. Jester doesn't need to dodge this turn. We can, we can, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll settle for one here. Honestly, that should be pretty good too. So. We vine. We, again, double targeting here. We can just burst Ogre and it dies this round. The problem is we can't double Vine because, uh, Barricade. Oh, you're actually, you're, you're more damaged right now. Shit, never mind. It's all fucked. Uh, in that case, let me play it like this. And just wait. I mean, we have lethal next turn pretty easily here. We need to roll pretty terribly to not kill. Sinew gets an exert side, he kills one, and then the fight just kind of wraps up from there, I think. Or we could all miss. We could all miss. That is an option. Okay, you know, listen. Okay, Jester, thank you for actually being here for me. I appreciate that. There we go. Cool, cool. Blood Chalice or Droopy Hat? It's going to be Droopy Hat for me. Seven days to Sunday. No doubt about that one. No doubt there. Okay, we got Slate. Herbalist, you know. Handle a Slate like a champ here, so that's good. But we also have the Quartz, which we need to be mindful of. It's going to be a little tricky to handle as well. Um, We got this one pretty much locked up, though, it looks like. Oh, yeah. Chest Scoundrel, if you can get a cleave here, that'd be... Oh, perfect. There we go. Very cool. Yeah, absolutely roasted and toasted. Rolled them and smoked them. Et cetera, et cetera. Oh, you know what? There we go. There we go. You do love to see it. Now, where does Caster Root currently go? I think it's fair to say that it should go on Trapper. Only because Trapper is a character who we're going to be, like, digging for the most for a specific role. 
Like there's very often times we're gonna be digging for like a vulnerable or a kill shot when we really need it. And because of that, we're going to want to uh, make sure that like, you know, if we whip, we at least get something that's worth something, right? That's the caster root play there. Cool thing about this fight here is that kill shot is a ranged attack. So even if an enemy gets sent to the back, we can still we can still trap or kill them with the kill shot, which will be, I think, very convenient for us, if I had to guess. There's kill shot. There's two damage. We just need one more damage from anyone to get a kill here. Okay, that's that's more than enough there. That's pretty good, actually. So the question is, who do we kill right now? It is a good question, right? There's a lot of good arguments no matter how you slice it. Or dice it. Haha, <laughs> get it. Um, I think what we're going to do here is we're going to kill shot Githa. And we're going to set Agnes up for maybe another kill. I don't know. Ah. Let me think about it more. I don't know. Because we can do this, right? And that saves Sinew from dying, which is pretty poggers. Um, we could do... We can't triple vine someone is the problem. I guess we can. Hold on. We can. We actually can. Because we can do... Oh, no. We can do this. No, it doesn't work either. Shit. No matter how I slice it, it doesn't really work here. Um, let's just keep it simple. Let's just kill Agnes here like this. It's a little bit wasted efficiency, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. You know, uh... You know what we can technically do here, too? To be like a little bit more efficient as well so we can do we can do flick here into this instead and then next time we can flick uh mag rat yeah yeah play it that way this seems fine to me it's a tiny bit more mana efficient to do it this way if we roll another kill shot we get to just kill shot uh gaitha right away which is nice I'm down to take a vulnerable here. The vulnerable is pretty solid. We don't have to. We don't have to doom roll here. We don't want to. And what do you got for me, Jester? Uh, I'll settle. I'll settle on that. Honestly, that's pretty good. So we will vine into probably burst here, and the problem is we can't kill Gaitha. We'll save three mana. That's okay. We get a we get a chain hit on Sinew. We get to kill a Magrat for free here, which is fine. Okay. You hit middle, right? Okay. We have lethal. Very cool. Very very neat. Okay. Hack versus manure. Manure is kind of good on Trapper. This is like a genuine, not terrible play here. It, to put growth on your vulnerable sides and then decay the other sides that don't really matter. Right? Kill shot, like, here's, here's like the question. How many times do you need to play kill shot is like, is the thing, right? Usually it's only once, maybe twice per fight. So we're not going to decay it too many times is like the logic here. But we might not keep tracker for the whole game. So that doesn't seem amazing. We can take hack here with sinew as like a fun little, fun little prank. Um, it's not a terrible play, but I think we just take a random tier four. These are like, okay, but not amazing. I think we can do better on average. This is not horrible, I guess. I don't know. It's fine. Could be better. Could be worse. Put it on alloy for now, I suppose. And I mean, we're digging hard for an exert here. If you can find it. We'll see if we can or not. Okay. That's a little bit annoying, but whatever. I think we do this. Now nah, we should we should we should try to kill the imp. We should do our best to kill the imp here. I think. Is there a good way to do it? I think there is. I think there is. Um. I think we do this. And maybe, well, we should flick one of you, flick, and then hit. Oh, you're the most health. No. 
Oh, I can do this. That works. And then we just hit there. Put a shields on Senya because he's taking the most damage here. Okay. That's not the worst play ever, but Senyu, now is really time for you to hit your exert side, please. Thank you. Okay, so we kill this one. Then we just look for the mana for the rest of you guys, I think, right? Um, mm, we prefer mana here. If you don't mind, thank you, thank you. Oh, I think that's enough. I think that's enough here. So we do this. And we just vine you down, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Warden or Cleric, not even a choice. <laughs> I'm sorry, but not even a choice here. Um, so let's put let's put this on Herbalist, but then let's put the Quicksilver probably on Warden. He's the center character. He's most likely to get it. He's most likely to get hit. And if by default we have a turn where we just have a shield rolled and nowhere to put it, Warden's the safest bet to put it on someone. So that seems fine to me. Um, maybe you know. How do you guys feel about this here? This is an interesting one, right? Because we're never keeping a shield side, basically, on Sinew. We're, we're playing it for the damage here. I kind of like this a little bit. Maybe you disagree, but I think that's the way we play this one. Because we're not we're just not keeping a shield side right now. I know we have the Quicksilver to get a little bit of added value out of it, but we're just never going to do it. So, I don't know. Also, holy shit, this fight sucks. What the hell are we looking at here? This is a level 10 fight? What the hell? Okay, well. No one's dying. That's fine, I suppose. Listen, the Sinew play already paying off for us. Look at this. Look at this. He's actually a genius now, apparently. Um, I think we roll for mana here on Herbalist as well. Not growth, please. Okay, whatever. Fuck me, I guess. Um, ah, who are we hitting? Probably... Um, I think I like I think I like hitting this or uh, eh. This Soodle is doing more damage. I know that. I can see that with my eyeballs, right? But if we do this, we can do this into this into this here and it just kills a Soodle straight up, which I kind of like. Then we play it that way. And then I think we maybe just poison poison here. We should flick someone. We should flick someone as well. We should flick... This Bones is the is the most vulnerable Bones. So I kind of like that. God, what a... What a this, is, this is actually a crazy fight for level 10, by the way. Also, it doesn't help that both Mimics rolled a summon, too. So we got just an insane number of enemies coming into the fight. Oh, we might need to we might need to doom roll here for a for a kill shot. I don't know. We can roll dodge and jester, which is cool. Yeah, I think we gotta roll for a kill shot here. Okay, easy. We can roll better on warden too potentially. So let's do that. Okay. So I think this is fine. Killing this pseudle. I know they're I know they're poisoned, so it's kind of like lost damage there in a sense. But I think it kind of had to be done. I think we flick. I got a line here. Don't worry. Oh, no, I don't have a line. Shit. I guess we do this. <laughs> and then we just keep hitting these bones. Until until one of them <laughs> stops being in the back. It's okay, though. Sinew, Sinew is off cooldown now or whatever. So I, I, think, I think they fall apart this turn, hopefully. The House of Cards comes crumbling down here upon the, the City of Bones. Love that. That just kills a Soodle. We got an extra reroll. We can roll deep here. I'll take a I'll take a four shield. I will take all of these. Okay. I do feel kind of smart right now. Not very smart, but just kind of a little smart. This is a teensy bit smart currently. Hold on. Play it that way. These bones come to the front now. Fucking dummies. Okay. Heart of Light versus Wand of Wand. I got a Heart of Light here. We have no cleansing currently. Herbalist, other side's kind of stinky, so I think this is actually really sick here. 
I think I think we could this it'd be a classic a classic trapper herbalist to the end game. I think like this is obviously a strong character, right? Nine HP, good spell, good sides, and then we have trapper with the vulnerable herbalist uh, vine combo. I think we can make this work. Now spiker, I hate spiker. One of my least liked characters in the entire game, I think. Um, but I, I think I've gotten better at handling them. As he, okay, I was gonna say, as he rolls three X's in a row on Jester. Um, I think this makes sense. So we do something like this. We put this here probably too, though. And then, do something like this, this into, your left side's pretty good. I think I prefer you being weakened for a turn than losing your left side here, Warden. So we'll go like that. Trapper lives the hit. Jester hopefully can dodge this round. Would not hate seeing a dodge from... Oh, you know, I'll take that. I'll take that. You're really going to, you know, force me here. I will accept. Although I will say, Jester's in a little bit of danger. We can just use his own mana to shield him, I suppose, huh? Let's take this. Worst comes to worst, we just kill shot the illusion, which is a waste. But best comes to best, we can like sinew exert into a couple of vines into kill shot spiker here. Those are all pretty solid. Okay, well. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. Assassin or ghast? I guess we're taking ghast. I don't know. I love, I love, like, herbalist, herbalist, trapper is just a sick combo against Baron. Once we kill the ghost, the fight is just GG, basically. Once we hit a vulnerable on trapper. And then trappers are also just good for killing ghosts with the kill shot. Like, there's so much going for us here that I don't want to take either of these two off the team. I don't like ghast. I don't respect ghast. But, hey, you know what? These, these wands are okay. It's just, it's just this is a bad side. <laughs> but I think we can make it work, hopefully. We could, you know, we want to go crazy. We want to go sicko mode. We could do this, but then we lose both of our normal mana sides, which I think is a deal breaker. And we can just use gas as an engine. We can just, we can just kill gas, roll, roll death, and then just power and then set, set the other two up to win the fight. So we can, we can make that work too. I don't love it, but whatever. It is how it is, you know? I do like this. Just, you know, saying, saying no to ghost here's a pretty good play. Um... I think I'll settle for this here too. That's a good one. We got some, we got some good stuff here. So we're gonna do this. Oh, I mean, I guess we do this. Oh shit, hold on. I guess we do. I guess we let this ghost live. I think. Maybe we just we just hit them both here. I don't know. We just get in for a little bit of cheeky damage there. And then. What is happening? Why can't. Why is my. <laughs> please. Please work. Why Why is all the music today not working? What happened? Hello? Okay, whatever. Fine. I, I give up. <laughs> please, please stop failing me. Okay, we're going to. We're going to pop the ghost illusion here too, I think. What's nice here is that in theory. We can get some harvests on, on at least one of these ghosts, I would imagine. I will take this. I will take this. I will take this. This doesn't hurt to take here, I think. Maybe mana's better there, but whatever. Trapper, you don't need to dodge this turn, so knock that shit off. There we go. Good. Okay. So, uh, let's see. So if we, we vine you once, we harvest. Oh, we, we got the infinite baby. We, we've got him right where we want him. This is why Baron is a chump. If you, so if you, the interaction is pretty obvious here, but maybe you're a newer player. I don't know. The idea here is that uh, Trapper makes all damage sources increase by one. Vine costs one mana. Baron gives you one mana for every two damage. Because of vulnerable, it costs two damage, or it deals two damage for one mana, and it refunds the mana instantly, and you just kill the Baron from full. Very nice. Very nice play there. Um, I 
Ha. Ha ha ha. What are we doing here? I guess just taking a wrench. I think wrench is fine. I don't know. I actually kind of like Dynamo. Dynamo's kind of... Oh, actually, it's not sick with Sinew here because we can't actually utilize it with the caster root. Like, like... I like Dynamo if you're putting it on, like, some not-so-good mana sides. The problem is that Gas only has one mana side and is two rights. So, not that useful. It's okay on Warden. We won't keep Warden. We don't know who we're going to have. If we, get, if we turn this into, like, a Valkyrie, which is what we're looking for with Gast, if we turn this into Valkyrie, Valkyrie's right sides do not need Dynamo. So, they were just taking a wrench. Wrench is fine. Wrench is okay. Put it on Gast. Be... Relatively happy with that. Okay, this is like kind of like a fight where you could argue that barricade is actually a benefit for us. Because it lets it lets us kind of get to the back line a lot faster here, right? So first things first. I think we're gonna weaken this snake down here. Then we're gonna hit you. Then we're gonna kill shot. I don't know. Who's in the most danger right now? Probably the sinew, because he's poisoned. Let me do that. And then we. We'll pass the turn. We're gonna hit this snake twice, with or with we're we'll vine it twice or whatever. We'll, we'll do something next turn. I don't know what exactly, but we'll we'll get these equal. We'll harvest one, kill the other, and then just kill the snipers. Hopefully, pretty pretty handily. I'm okay with all of this. Let's let's just see what happens currently because we have a lot of mana to work with here. I guess we can just do this into vine, harvest you. That is lethal. <laughs> that is already lethal. Boom. Excuse me. Boom. Okay. Fencer versus Surgeon. I'm... Oh, man. The combo's so good. You might think it's crazy. I think we're supposed to skip here. I don't think we want either of these characters. Let me think about it for a second. Mm. Surgeon gas is a fun little combo, though, with Operate... Which is not even that mana positive, but still, it's kind of neat. It's neat if Gas is low health, and then you get to just, just you get to send him to the, the Shadow Realm, and then you bring him back with Operate, and they come back with full health. That's kind of nice. To clarify, they come back with full health for that fight. At the end of the fight, they still come back with half health. Um, I think this is a skip. You might think it's crazy, but I think I'm skipping here. I don't like it. You know, thank you. And we'll look at this. Uh, no. Absolutely not. I don't want... That is not worth it. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, what are we looking at here? Null's exerting, so we're going to want to... Oh, kill shot works. I was going to say exert here. We can just kill shot him. I think we actually want to get shields here from Warden this round, because Sinew is, is on death's door. We have no real way to prevent that. I think I will take this heal. I think we're going to hit the spiker with the exert. And then heal back up to, re to remove the damage. But we need a shield still. Okay. Warden. Come on. Okay. You know, I wasn't very specific. It is a shield. I can't be mad about that. Um, We'll just pass here. That's fine. Spiker's pretty close to death. But he, we, we have, have barricade. We have barricade to contend with still. Very important to note. Okay, this is pretty much like optimal rolls for us here, I think. So we should we should keep you guys alive. And then the rest of the mana we should spend into vining alpha here. Or I guess doing that, because then we can do Okay, that, that, that's good. Yeah, that works. That's that's worth it, I think. Okay. So now Alpha's in the back. A little, little bit problematic here because the, the spiker is is bearing down on us and we have fairly low hp on our boys there are there are you know we're beset on all sides here um let's look at this for a second hold on so if we heal here there's only is it's two damage on his never mind this is garbage if we hit here into here into here oh nope never mind sorry into here so close so let's let's roll let's roll better here or these two sorry 
Mm. That does keep Warden alive, worst case scenario, so I'm okay with this. We do better. Okay, no, we can't do better on Sinew, apparently. Never mind, my apologies. Okay, we weaken you. And then we just Vine Warden to keep him alive. I think this is a winning position. I'm okay with this. Again, the Spiker, though, is very tricky. Spiker is tough here. We need some mana in order to kill this man. Or kill shot. Kill shot's fine. Mana's fine. This actually works out more or less. Oh, I didn't realize the alpha's hitting, though. I think I think we have lethal. Hold on. I think we do this. I think we just kill the alpha here. And then just hit into hit. Okay, cool. That works. That works very well. Flute versus studs. Uh, flute is just consistent here. You can slap flute. We can slap flute on sinew and take off caster root, and that works out a lot better. That's okay to me. But just caster root, who cares? Like, I guess. Here, here you go, gas. You got a caster root now. Um. So I, I have realized that there is an obvious anti synergy here now, though, with sinew. I did kind of realize it before, but didn't say anything. Um. Exert plus re-rolling cantrip thingy is not good because you can only use it for half of your rounds assuming that you exert every round, right? So we might want to do something like this. I kind of actually like how this looks. Something like this here. That looks actually pretty because we never use the shield side or the, or, and, the, and the dodge side is fine. If we see a Tarantus here, we'll take this off. But for now, this looks pretty good to me. I guess caster root goes here, whatever. Herbless Hydra, you do love to see it. You need to keep in mind that we need Kaw significantly injured as well in order to be able to actually hit this man. Um, right now we have one, two, three, four hits. We're not going to be able to put all four hits on Hydra here because of the because of the Kaw. So, whatever. Put this here. I mean, let's weaken. Weakening you makes the most sense to me. I think we hit like that, and then I think we can just pass here. It's, it's I think it's fine to pass because we can. We can go. Oh, uh, yeah, no, we can't. We can't get in on Hydra here. Hydra's gonna be here until Kaw dies, basically. Oh, we know they're both back because Bird retreats when he gets hit, so they are both back. A lot of damage, but I think we honestly save the mana. We'll get plenty of chances later to uh, to do stuff like this. Okay. Wish we had the dodge side now, but not a big deal that we don't have it. Um, I will take this. We could we could dig for a four damage block here, maybe. I don't hate digging honestly. We have the extra reroll. Okay, we'll take that. And we just have to kill Kaw here, which I think we have close to lethal right now. Let's try again, Trapper. Let's try again, Trapper. Trapper, one more time. Close. Now I don't think we have lethal, so now it's like a tiny issue. Where we can just... Oh, no, we, we do. We do. One, two, three, four, harvest. Yep. That's cool. And it should... We, sh we have three mana. We just need two more to guarantee lethal on Hydra next turn. Which would be pretty hard to miss. Or just two attacks, right? There's, there's a, we have we have very many ways to get lethal here. And we have gotten many ways here. I will opt for the Vine five times to BM Hydra plan. I like that one quite a bit. Again, I like Trapper Herbalo, so I'm taking Poet here. And I think the last thing we're looking for is an upgrade to Sinew. I think this is fine. It's not, like, amazing. It's, it's not terrible. And we have good mana generation, so the, the shield sides will do work here. Um, I don't know. I don't know where this goes. Whatever. Poet here. Poet, have a rock, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Like what I'm seeing here. I like getting, I like, I like uh, repeat on gas three mana side here. That's looking really nice. Oh, it almost gave me the exert. Unfortunate. So we're gonna we're gonna do this to one of the quartz. We're gonna do this. One, two. Oh shit! Hold on. Sorry, I forgot. I forgot how the fight worked. And 
And then we do this. And then we save this quartz for later, unfortunately. Should I, should I kill the other quartz? I don't think it matters too much either way. I guess this is fine. Whatever. These guys are out of the fight now for the next round, which is unfortunate. But oh well. Oh, no, this is actually correct. We're, we're, we weren't stopping the, the basalt no matter what we did there. That was the right line, for sure. One, two, three, four. I can count. Very good round for us here. Uh, basalt should be quick work for us as well. Um... What are we even looking for? I guess I guess maybe a repeat here. I was gonna say, yeah, repeat for more mana. We're not kill I'm sorry, we're not killing the gas for one mana. That is not a good trade. No, thank you. Uh, and you guys can't do anything, so we'll just whatever, roll you for fun. We kill here. And we get a little bit of extra mana. I guess we can. You know what? We should take this time to top off. We have we have five. I forgot we have the droopy hat. So we leave it there. We have a guaranteed kill on slate this round. If Trapper gets a kill shot, if we were so lucky, that'd be pretty nice. If not, no big deal. I will definitely use the Weaken here on Basalt. That seems like a very good line. And shielding someone's probably also good here. I think we want. I think we should put some regen on Trapper as well. That doesn't do much for us, but whatever. I guess it helps a little bit with the, the incoming damage from Basalt. I like that here, too. Okay, so... Um... Put this here. First things first. I think we do this and... Oh, shit. You fucker. Okay, never mind. We do this first, I guess. Just kill the slate with all of our mana. And then we do this into this and we trigger the chip. Just cool. Only two weakened, not too bad. Ga oh, and Gas takes a hit. You know, I, I like Trapper more. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gas. I like Trapper more. And then we get a death beam coming. Trapper, Trapper is having a rough one here. I gotta say. You're weakened, so we'll settle there. You can do, mana, mana is a better roll here for us, so I'm looking for that. We get a chip on, on, on Basalt again. And maybe the last chip will get this fight. How does this look here? Hold on a second. We do this into this into this. Oh, you're still dying, huh? Okay, so we need a better, we need a, a mana roll from Herbalist here to save Trapper, unfortunately. Um, other than that, he's not making it out of this one. Um, I mean, not much, not much you can roll here either, Trapper, I suppose, but whatever, we'll roll it for fun. Okay, he got, he tried his best. He did try his darndest. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. So we can't get him up all the way. Can we kill here? I don't think so, right? Yeah, no. Rest in peace, Trapper, you'll be missed. Um, that also means this is the last chip we're going to get, because the only other way we had to chip five was to, uh, was to vulnerable into a sinew hit. But we're in a, we're in a pretty decent position from here. It's going to be a little dicey, though. It's going to be a teensy bit dicey. And now you roll a freaking heal, whatever, fuck you, herbalist. Um, cleanse here is good, though. I will take a cleanse. This is probably also one of the best things we're going to roll here. Gas is regener rege rege bleh, regenerating here, so I don't feel like that much pressure to put the shield on Gas. Okay, Death Beam coming out of Herbalist here. We should be able to save him. Yep, there we go. Let us continue rolling. I like two AoE shield here. The nice thing here is that the, the Poet has the stone. So that's cool. Hmm... We cleanse your the death beam here, which is nice. Keep on keep on ch chipping away there, Sinew. You'll get him eventually, don't worry. Okay. Mm, I can roll that. I accept this. Poet would love a redo here, thank you. Okay. We will vine twice, stay at five mana because of Droopy Hat. This has been a little bit of a war of attrition here, but, but Basalt really can't kill us that efficiently. He's kind of he's kind of struggling a little bit to actually kill anyone. 
Okay, you're worth rolling, obviously, because you still have things you can get. Look at look at look at my boy go. You do love to see it. I would love to get a uh, mana mana shield here. That'd be very nice. Oh, he's doing it. Look at him go. Oh, hold on. Sequencing, of course, sequencing. Almost have lethal. Next next time soon you can actually hit something, he's gonna kill him. Now poet. Oh shit. Oh shit. Cantrip shields. No, don't do it, poet. Don't do it. Okay, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> that would have been funny. <laughs> Ha ha ha. Okay, we're out of here. Greatsword versus Halo. I'm a, I'm a Greatsword gamer here. I'm okay with Greatsword. Put that on Sinew. Pretty happy with that play. Give that boy a big sword. Now he's going to guarantee kill a zombie here this round. Or else. Okay. I would prefer the. I, th I think I, I think I reroll here because all shields here is looking pretty nice. A lot of characters right on teetering on the edge right now, so I like hitting that. Everyone else just rolled nothing here, so that sucks a little bit. Okay. Um. This is kind of Duke. I mean, I mean, Sinu Sinu gets a kill here, so everyone's safe because we killed this zombie. Everyone lives. Yeah. Um, do we sack the gas, though, is the question. I don't know the answer. I think I take this. I think I roll the other two. I don't think we have to sack here. Okay, well, fuck me, I guess. Um, first things first. Kill here. Right off the bat. Ah, shit. I you know what? Goodbye, Ghast. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was a, it was a good try. Maybe next time, bud. Can we do this? Can we vine here? I forgot about the zombies, too. God damn it. This sucks. I hate this game. <laughs> Hold on. So we we do this, right? Oh, yeah, we do. We do this. Check this. This is some diabolical shit here. Look at that. Boom. Easy kill. You're making you're making a skeleton. We'll kill that skeleton and kill you next turn, idiot. Okay, this is not a great spot to be in though, because Sinew's exhausted and we lost uh, our 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 Geist Gast, whatever his name is. I don't know anymore. Um, this is okay. I'm sure this is fine. We actually survived the round here, I think, pretty easily. We could roll for a kill shot, but we can just do this into this. And then burst, kill both of you. Heal you up. I like that position. Hopefully Sinew rolls great sword here and says he doesn't get exhausted. But if he gets exhausted, he gets exhausted. That just, that just is how it is, right? Take that, roll the rest. I will take this here. That's a pretty good one. Okay, thank you for not letting me down. Ooh, that is lethal. Okay, we're good. Or is it lethal? No, it is lethal, yeah, because we just vine... No, it's not. I'm dumb. It's not lethal. It's not. A, it's not a lethal. I don't think. Yeah. Never mind. I'm actually a dummy. We'll do that though. That's fine. Ooh, sinew. I'm now realizing sinew is vulnerable. Is not great news. Well, that's good. Is it though? Actually, hold on. I think someone's dying here. <laughs> I'm looking at the numbers. I so here's here's the th now I'm real we're a little bit too late to realize this now. We could we could doom roll here for a kill shot, and if we get v mana on herbalist into uh, mana on herbalist into kill shot. We kill the zombie here and no one dies. Or even just actually just just yeah no uh we can just get mana and this and, and it kills huh. It's a one in three chance to lose nobody, but I think this is a pretty guaranteed win if we do it this way. Or pretty close to guaranteed, maybe not literally. Ah, you know what? Fuck it, we ball, let's go. Actually cracked. Get me out of here. <laughs> okay, Bash versus Wraith. I'm gonna be a Bash gamer here, absolutely. 
We gotta keep the Trapper Herbalist squad together, so I think Bash is the only real choice here. And who gets the Greatsword? Because it's fine, it's fine on Bash. We also have this as a cool combo with Bash. We put the Rock here. I kind of like that. You know what? I like that too. That seems pretty good to me. So now we give Trapper a little bit of extra reach here with the with the sword, right? He, he can now kill a man, and we can go combo. We can go Bash into Greatsword here potentially too. I don't hate that. I don't hate that at all. Um, Let's rock. Barrel here is lovely because if we kill Barrel, we get to kill the Sniper for free, which is really nice. I'll take these. That's fine. Um, I would like to stop a foot from killing me, I think. So let's go boom into boom, right? Oh, but you're, no, hold on, sorry, one moment, please. This first. And then we go boom into boom. You like to see that. And I think we just put this on herbal. Actually, well, Poet's in more danger, I feel like. Whatever, it's fine. Okay, a lot of damage coming in, but we're just killing it here. Huh. I'm okay with these. Let's keep rolling here a little bit, though. Also, I'm okay with this, too, I think. Once again, hit him with the feet. No one's in kill shot range for Trapper. Do we have another roll? No, we don't. Okay, whatever. I was hoping we'd get there. We do not get there, though. It's fine, though. I mean, we're taking one damage on three characters here. Bash is stunned, which sucks. But you know how it goes. I don't think we're getting anyone in kill shot range here. I think we should look for... Like, something like this here is pretty good. Although we have no mana. Baby Gas can get us there with a little bit of mana this round. He tried his best. Put this here, put this here. Hit you for one. Oh, they are equal health now. That's very convenient. You do like to see them being at equal health. And I'm glad that they could, they could have done some poison to us here and caused some serious issues. I'm glad they chose not to. That was very kind of them. I kind of wanted to look for a great sword here, but I'll take a vulnerable. That's, that's acceptable, I think. Put this here, put this here. So I think what we do is something like this into this. Bop you. And then pass the turn. Listen, they, they, we're, we're, we're outstalling them. They're healing, but we're going to kill them. We don't need, we don't need everyone to die here. We're fine. You can kill the troll. It's a kill shot. Yes, you got to relax. It does not have to be this way. <laughs> See, it's okay. Boom. Silk Cape versus Triple Shuriken here. The problem is we have no payoffs for Triple Shuriken as far as I can tell. Would be kind of funny to go all kill sides on gas. I think we take a random tier nine. This is just not a this is just not a triple shuriken build. Like who do we put this on here, right? Like we have no range attack. I mean we have kill shot. Kill shot is a range attack. That could trigger Bash to do some crazy shit in theory. But it's, it's just I feel like that's so niche. I think we are just better off. I think we are just better off taking a random tier nine. There's so many good tier nines. Like we see, come on, like, like think of this world. We take we take dolphin here we random get dolphin put it on herbalist just go insane bash big sword into trapper great sword into 10 mana herbalist right it's just it's like and obviously that's the pipe dream right but i'm i'm very happy with goblet of life here this is sick as far as i'm concerned we get to do some cool stuff here we get to go goblet on poet into wrench i think this is a sick line for us here it's it's like just huge huge shielding Big numbers. I like weaken here. That looks pretty good to me. Okay, can we get some like actual attack moves here though, boys? 
Okay, that's that's good enough. I accept this. I mean, nothing we can do here with the heal on Herbalist, unfortunate. Hit you a little bit. Kill shot don't do squat here. Mm. Okay, now things are looking a little less good. Can you please stop hitting kill shot? I'm sorry to say I've had enough now. We take a heal here? I don't think we do. I think we'd roll for mana. I don't love. I I don't. I don't know what we're looking for. On. I guess this is the. What else are we looking for here? I guess I don't know. I don't love it though. I think one. I we, we get four mana. So we we need we need two off of Herbalist here. We go quadruple Vine into into Hammer Bash here, and it kills this Hydra. That puts us in a pretty good spot this round. Okay, he is actually just a god gamer. So one, two, three, four. Bash. Unfortunately, our bash does die. We we just can't stop it. <laughs> it is sad. But he'll remember us. Okay, don't love weaken here. We can take the dub right here right now, but I don't think we need it. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking we might need it now. <laughs> Unfortunate, we're not we we could again. We have the option to kill gas here for triple vine or quadruple vine. I think I will just settle for four mana here, and then we just need a little bit of mana next turn. Um, I don't know how we're getting it because we're we're very cursed here, but um, you know, we just have to not die this turn. Okay, he's he's got us in the in the in the genjutsu right now. However, gas avoided it because I didn't realize he could do that. We could just roll for mana here, but I think we just take the. Oh, wait, we, this hits. I'm dumb, dumb. Just, just hit. Duh. Um, no. I don't want these. I like our team the way it is. Okay, let's run it. Okay, dragon's hitting for what, 15 here? Something crazy like that, right? I think we're going to want gas to roll the, the, the die move. I think that's okay here. I like this. Maybe next time, bud. Just thinking about stuff right now. Hold on. So. I think we can kill Call this turn. We do this into... Oh, that, that does it too. Never mind. That works. <laughs> that works. And then... We can vine into harvest here. I think that these four can beat dragon. I think we can get there. I'm sorry, Ghast. You just didn't roll that well. It is unfortunate. And also dragon bit you. Turn one. Which, what are you going to do, right? Okay, that's a lot of poison. Does this cleanse as well? It does not cleanse as well. But it is a pretty good play here. I think I'll take that. And I want more mana here for this trap return. Cleanse is obviously good here as well. Okay, well, you know. Sometimes it is just how it goes. Yeah, that was a bad turn. If Poe can just keep rolling this, uh, this, this uh, thing, though... We're not looking too terrible here. Okay, these are pretty okay rolls there. Trapper, please stop rolling the kill shot, man. Okay. He, he is doing it, which is good news. Okay. If Poe just keeps rolling the, 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 the goblet, we're in pretty good shape. I want to see how cleanse looks here, right? So we do this into like this. I don't like it. I think we go. I think we go all in here. We're still gonna keep poet. We're still keeping this, keeping this, but roll the rest. Come on, boys. Now it's pretty good. 
is pretty good here. And then put this, put this on who? I mean, Trapper and Bash are the two most important characters here. I think these two are dead next turn no matter what. Let me put this here on Trapper. He's, he's just rolling a lot of poison. He's spitting. Although, it doesn't matter how much he spits if he just dies. Okay. That was cool. That was cool, I think. If you if you if you saw me get excited about the chalice and were like, huh, I don't think chalice is that good. Hopefully this changed your mind. I like chalice a lot. I don't think it's amazing. I think it's actually it's, maybe it's even on the lower half of of tier nine relics. It's good though. It's a good relic. Um, so hopefully, hopefully this, you know, you thought about it a little bit differently. Because it just it just outputs so much shielding and healing. It's kind of nutty. Um, so I like it quite a bit. And uh yeah. Hopefully you like this this video quite a bit. I will hopefully see you next time or not. I don't know. Uh, again, like I said at the start, here's going to be a lot of dark and darker videos happening this week. If the game works, we'll see. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.